Hello and welcome to Anxiety Lost Night. Now what drew me to this game when I was kind of looking through a list of them was that it was kind of set in one location I think. I think it's you were just in a trap car and it all goes from there. And I really like it when games kind of confine you down to that one place and build a story out of that. So we'll kind of we'll see how what it it does it and how scary it is, how spooky. Being trapped in a lost car. It's pretty spooky. It's okay. Everything's going to be alright. Hmm. Just need to calm down and drive. It's okay. Just a little bit more. What? No, not again. Not now. Shit, come on. Okay. So... It said in the blurb when he's trying to figure out just what she's so afraid of. It's dark outside. Okay. <laughs> Creepy. There should be a bus station nearby. How do I keep this? It's got blood on it. It's got it. It's got blood on it. Should have left it there. Where am I? Can you move seats or anything? Oh. Okay, we've got to keep it along the line. Yeah. No, no dice. Okay, what else? There's a map on the dashboard. You yeah, bring nature to your soul. Go here. Near the haunting forest. I should be able to walk there. That doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. Oh, this is a really cool system of interacting, by the way. I need the key. Yeah, I'm guessing walking through the forest is probably a bad idea. A horror game. Is there a key in this jacket? <laughs> I keep looking at it because of the blood on the fucking... I have to go outside. No, she really wants me to go outside, but... Um... Alright. Shit, what's that? What indeed? <laughs> Cougar? No. Try and scare it away with the horn. <laughs> Probably not the best idea to walk through. Should start the car again. Yeah, but it won't start, will it? It's not working. Should I call my mechanic? Call anyone. I didn't save his number. Is it in your last calls? Should have the business card somewhere. It's going to be in the fucking glove box, isn't it? But you can't open it because it's locked. Just leave the I should have put his number somewhere. Okay. Could you hurry up with your thinking so I can actually come to the conclusions that I've come to? <laughs> Gave me his business card, yeah. Not in the map, is it? Nope. Maybe it's in the sun visor. You keep business cards in the sun visor? I can't even look at the sun visor. Oh, there we go. Find that one. There we go. GR Garage Auto Works. Can't quite see that number. Plus one, three oh six, seven seven four. Double nine, double nine. Hi, it's me. Oh, ma'am? What's wrong? My car won't start. Yeah, the car won't start. I need your help. I hear you. Signal's bad. Where are you, ma'am? In the middle of fucking nowhere. I'm at North Route of the National Park. What? That's not important right now, is it? Shut up and help me. I'll be there in an hour. Hour? No. I can't wait that long. Just walk me through it. What should I do? Alright. Try to turn off 
get the electronics on your car. It worked last time, right? Okay, is the battery having trouble then? Okay, let's turn off the radio. I can. I really wish I had a cursor so I know kind of where I was looking. Turn off all electrics. Gave me a note, where is it? I really gave you a note. You just told you what to do. It's locked in it, still. I need the key. The key in the sun visor. I bet it's going to be in that jacket. Don't remember. Oh, what have we here? Aha. Uh -huh. God, I... God, I looks awful. Lisa Matheson. <laughs> I can take care of my looks from now on. Where... Where do I put the note? Where did I leave this thing here? Bloody... Okay, you've got bloody rope and a bloody jacket. Being to think that you're not the good guy in this situation. Definitely nothing in there. I hope if I could fucking see. Any other place? Oh, okay. Ah, uh, hello. Fuck off. Fuck off. Is there something else in that bag? It looks like it might be there. Yeah, there's the key. It's just hidden. Well, oh, fantastic. Now we can get into the cough box. There's the note. Now, screwdriver. When you have some electrical issues, turn off air conditioner, every lights on the car, wiper, unplug your radio power cable. Pressing the horn also makes it worse. Remember, don't turn on all devices in one time. Make sure all electronic devices are off when you start the ignition. Air conditioner, lights, wiper... And radio power cable. Should I, yeah, I should indeed follow the instructions. Don't need this anymore. <laughs> What's over? Oh, it's gone now. Yeah, forgive me if I'm not convinced. Maybe I wasted too much time and I'm about to get fucking jump scared by this thing. <sighs> okay. Did that do the trick? Or not seeing ignition. Hi. Oh, okay. I died. <laughs> Okay, let's try that a bit quicker this time. We spent too long trying to figure out where the hell that key was. <laughs> let's try that again. See if we can actually get the hell out of here. It's okay. Yep, 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 yep. Because it's, it's so stupidly dark in that car. I can barely see anything. Right. See, that I can't, I can't flip it down until she says I can. And that's a really dumb... Like, I get this to build like suspense and pace and stuff, but mm. okay. So we try and start the car. There's one right there. Okay, look, you have a map. Oh no, we can't get outside. Shit, what's that? And we're still not starting. A cougar? How funny, mate. I've got a cougar right about now, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Didn't save his number. Business card is there. Check our garage. I have his business card somewhere. Give him a call. Hi, it's me. Murs, what's wrong? I won't start. Shut the hell up and help me. Be there now. No! Can't wait that long. Just walk me through it. What should I do? Turn off electronics. But it won't last time. Okay. Look in the bag that I can barely see. Get the key. Okay. Don't look at the bloody jacket. Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, thanks. Thanks for that jump scare. That's the instructions. Turn off air conditioning, power, blah, 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 blah. Get screwed. Yep, yeah, I didn't mean that. I wanted you to give me the screwdriver. Okay. I know. Know what? 
You know what? I should follow the instructions, yes. Yes, I should. One there. There. Get rid of you. And you. So you gone. Grab drop you. Turn the air conditioning off. Grab drop. No, that's not what I wanted you to do. I wanted you to keep you off. <laughs> Grab drop. Turn the lights off. Okay. Turn off every lights on car. Unplug your radio power cable. Pressing your horn also makes it worse. Okay, is that everything? You got the lights off? Oh, I've got you. Grab, drop. I think that's pretty much everything. And there he is running along in the distance there. Is that everything? I think that's everything. Give you a... Oh! Fuck. Oh, hi. What happened there? There was suddenly a little kid. Let's try again. I have followed the instructions, have I? Lights are off. Ah, oh, hello again. What was that? What am I missing? Remember, don't turn on all devices in one time. Make sure all electronics are when you start the ignition. Air conditioning every lights on car. Unplug your radio power cable. Radio power cable. That's the wipers. I guess he didn't want the wipers on. But I can't see what's left. Uh, turned you off, haven't I? No. For some reason you uh, missed. Let's try again. So what the hell is... What am I missing here? That doesn't sound good. Should I follow the instructions? Yeah, I have. Haven't I? Air conditioner's off. Every lights on car's off. Wiper is off. Unplug your radio power cable. Well, I know I unscrewed it, but I don't know if I unplugged it or whatever. I just don't think there's anything else I can do with it. I just want me to turn the sewing wipers on. Okay, there we go. Provised. Oh, okay, you just look away from him and that's fine. Yes, yeah, so I don't look at him. Basically, it's the, the, the deal. Like, do you want me to turn my wipers fucking on? Like what? <laughs> They're off. Grab. Grab. Drop. Okay. Okay, the front lights went on for some reason. There we go. Look at that. Pull that one up. Grab. Grab. Drop. Okay. What the hell is going on here? Okay, you've gone on again. Grab. Drop. And so have you. So what the hell? I'm following the instructions, but it's not letting me. Okay, let's try again. Grab. Drop. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck away. Wait, what the hell is going on? Maybe we should take some of these pills. Just saying. I think you do. I think you're going around the twist. Oh, that's not what I wanted you to grab. Grab, drop. Grab, drop. Jog on. Why is this? Oh, he's getting closer. So have I got to keep doing it until he finally meets up with me? Me and this little little boy over here? I'm following the instructions. Let's see what else we got going on for us. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I deserve a better life. I deserve more. Why? Okay. Okay. 
She had a little accident. Oh, that's it. Okay, that was an interesting little game. Lots of jump scares. So obviously she did something horrible because she had bloody rope um, and a bloody jacket in the back of her car. So maybe she did something to that little uh, boy that she kept seeing there. Hmm. Yeah, that was very odd. Interesting little game. I like it's all trapped in one place. Um, jump scares. Um, I've never been the biggest fan of jump scares, but they did their work and they, they got me a few times. Um, especially when the bloke just popped out of nowhere. Uh, even on the second time, it still got me. So you know. <laughs> um, I'll give it one quick run through off the credits to see if there's anything I missed because I don't know if that rope or or whatever is going to come into play. And if I find nothing, then I will end it here. Okay, I did find a slightly different ending. Uh, I can see if I can get it again for you. Um, it didn't like visually change much, it just changed the dialogue at the end. So I will try and record it for you. I basically, just did it by mashing the. Uh, I don't need this anymore. By mashing the horn right at the end and just keep checking various bits and pieces. So I'm going to see if, that's, if that changes anything. So, first thing I'm going to do is, is look at the. Um, the jacket. And then the license and then the rope. Which I don't think I checked out last uh, when I played through it before. And then I'm just going to keep mashing the horn whenever I hear. Uh, because I said the horn makes it worse, so I figured maybe there was something to that. And of course, don't look at the big scary guy outside for too long, or else he'll come and ruin your day. And this is already a pretty bad day, and I don't want him ruining it even more, right? Being trapped in your car out in a scary forest. It's not the best of days. Did I already turn that off? No, yes, I did. And grab and turn you off. Okay, that should be everything. So, see you, the kid. Beep, beep. I can see him running around in the background there. <laughs> that looks like it's on. Yep. Should be everything. Beep, beep. A couple of beeps to alert everyone we're here, and then see the kid again, uh, and then I'm going to grab and turn you off. Basically I'm just going to keep checking things again and again, because I think that's how I got it last time, I'm not entirely sure. Just kept checking the jacket and the rope, so I wanted to see if he could like pick it up and use it for something, but, but it's clear someone was tied up. You're on. Turn you off. Try again. Oh, wait for the horn. Beep. Just to alert the kid we're here. Hey, kiddo. Beep. <laughs> Grab, drop. Turn the wipers off. Turn the front lights off. Grab, drop. To, oh. Hopefully it will give me the uh, correct ending by doing all this. Look at the pills. Bends a booby de boo Jackie hits. Croop. And if you see the creepy guy, back the fuck out. Beep. There he is. Beep. Yep, he's jogged on. Beep. Beep. <laughs> oh god. Okay, that went okay. I thought that was the last one, but apparently we've got one more. Turn you off. Grab, drop. Vipers. Grab, drop. External lights. Pills. Jacket. And rip. You can keep dinging all you want, mate. Beep, beep, beep. Alerting all children. Let's see if it's any different. I'm sorry. This looks different. I can't live like this anymore. I'm sorry. I just want a normal life. A normal kid. Is it wrong? Am I a monster? It's not my fault. It's for the best. 
There won't be any more suffering for both of us. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I'm here, mummy. Yep, and she crashes again. So that kind of shares a different light on the lady. Less sympathetic. Uh, there was obviously something wrong with her child that she didn't like. And judging by the rope and the jacket, she took matters into her own murderous hands. Um, so the kid we saw when we turned the ignition on was obviously her kid. And she got rid of him because there was something wrong with him and she couldn't handle that. Which is pretty fucked up. Um, but I like how it adds a kind of darker note. It makes you wonder about that thing wriggling around outside, whether that was like kind of deliberately targeting her for what she did, whether that was a representation of the kid as well. I uh, don't know. But either way, it's kind of maybe like this game even more now. So it's a bit deeper than it than first appearances. Um, I don't know if it. I was doing the right thing, like checking the pills, blah blah, or hitting the horn. What exactly got me the other ending? Um, I think in the first one, the ending was just me. I didn't look at the jacket or rope I just did what I, what I knew I had to do it was kind of like the lady deliberately avoiding it so she just said it's not my fault and drove off without saying sorry or, or thinking about it um, and she just crashed because you know why not um, either way I will stick a link down in the description for you to play Anxiety for yourself I recommend you do and as ever thank you so much for watching uh, if you like my content please do check out my other videos and if you do I shall see you there. Goodbye.